are doing an unboxing and a swatching for this watercolor set sent to me by my friend Hame. And you guys can check out her adorable art by clicking on the link in the description below. She is a fellow artist and a fellow traditional art enthusiast. So I hope you guys will check out her stuff. But this is a Tiger brand watercolor set that she sent me. And Hame lives in Portugal, but I believe she said the set was... Oh, my memory is not super great, but I want to say like Amsterdam. And um, Hame, please correct me if I am wrong. And I did unbox it on the video. And Tiger, I believe, is like a Dollar General, Dollar Tree kind of store. So I think it's really cool that they have something as neat as watercolors for sale there. And this little set has four little feet. And it does not have a little handhold thing. Unlike that Johnny Q set that we reviewed recently. And I, I guess I only unwrapped one. So it comes with this. I think it's a makeup brush, to be really honest. It comes with this tiny little weird flat. So we're not even going to use that. I'm sorry, Hame. Actually, I should hold on to that because I'm going to send this set on to another one of our Indrop Cafe friends. And uh, they can be tortured too. But I am going to unwrap these, though not on camera because that would just be painful. Um, and they're wrapped pretty tight, so I'm probably going to have to use a knife. Do one on camera. We can see together how hard or how easy these are. And then scoop it back into its spot. So I'm going to do the wrap off camera. All right, so we finally got this thing completely unwrapped. We are going to activate each can with a drop of water and give it time to soak in. And there are 12 total pads. Although, to an extent, their color choice is a little weird. And since I have it handy, we'll swat on some Fabiano cotton rag paper. All right, guys, so these watercolors have had more than adequate time to soak up the water that I applied to them. And they already feel really like a lot of glycerin has been used in them, which isn't uncommon for inexpensive watercolors. After all, this tiger is like the Dollar Tree slash Dollar General equivalent. We use that watch the white, but I'll do that in a minute. Give that a chance to sort of dry out. Wow, I know I activated this yellow and it's not want to pick up. So basically, for the most part with these, they went with a warm yellow, a cool yellow, a warm red, a cool red. That's not bad. Um, probably burnt sienna, probably burnt umber. Then this sort of mauve purple, like it's, it's a weird purple for them to have included. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be a sap or a spring green and then a viridian green. Ooh. Wow. There's. Not much in there. Curious what this costs in a Mary box. Because if it's like a dollar to three dollars, oh, a dollar to three dollars, I mean, you know, you're getting a better deal than you would get from most American stores. Actually, that black, all right. That's just that white. But. If it was like ten dollars, it's starting to hit the realm of like probably can find some decent equivalent. Um, but it's not necessarily any worse than those patterns I reviewed for my patrons. So anyway, that's the swatch test for the Tiger brand watercolor. If you guys are interested in a field test, let me know in the comments below. Um and I hope you guys will check out my other watercolor swatches, unboxings, reviews, and field tests, both here and at natosoup.blogspot. Oh, excuse me, natosoup.blogspot.com.
So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope I see you guys again really soon. Bye guys. Doing my sign off, I realize I usually check in with you guys after these things dry. So I hope you guys are still there. Um, and I hope you will stick around so I can check in with you after these have had a chance to dry out. All right, guys. So this finally had a chance to dry. You know, hold it up so you guys can see a little better. But these tiger watercolors are very chalky and um, look fairly opaque. Oh, hang on a second. Now you guys can see much better. Sorry about that. You can really tell I'm getting sick. Anyway, they are fairly chalky and opaque, except for the white, which is not very impressive. But uh, depending on what they cost over in the EU, oops, they might not be a bad bang for your buck. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments below if I need to do a field test with these. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.